You've made the decision. You're ready to list your home for sale and move on with your life. Selling your home without a realtor can save you thousands of dollars. And in this video, I'm going to break down the nine steps that professional realtors like myself use every day to get homes sold. Boom! Boom, we're live. If you're new to the channel, my name is Chris Igo. I'm a full-time, full-service realtor with an all-star team that services all of South Florida. I make content to showcase exactly what it's like to live in South Florida, and I'll occasionally add my opinion or thoughts on really anything I think will help educate or inform to help empower you to make the best decisions for yourself and for your family. More importantly, for your bottom line. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel now because I'm about to save you a lot of time and even more money. Step number one for FISBO success is to prepare your home for sale. Start with the little things, don't freak out. Most people tend to get a little bit overwhelmed here and it's totally normal. The question I often ask myself when I'm embarking in something new and a little bit overwhelming is how do I eat an elephant? And yes, it's a little bit of a ridiculous comparison, but how do you do it? And it's one bite at a time. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the nine bites that you need to take. Start small. Many of the things that need to be done are easy and inexpensive for you to do yourself. And decluttering is the easiest. It's also the fastest way to increase the desirability of your home. It's totally free. Another trick that will give lots of bang for very little buck is to hire a stager. A quick consultation can eliminate the stress of deciding what needs to stay, what needs to go. A lot of times people who are experiencing the overwhelm don't even know where to start and a stager will help with that. Oftentimes they can rearrange your existing furniture to enhance the flow of the property and the overall appeal of your home. And perhaps even add a few strategic items to make your home look perfect. Now I'll put my favorite stager, Carrie Ann's contact information down below. She's the absolute best. You've gotta give her a call. And if you happen to be a fan of classic rock, you're in for a real treat because, well, she's very close to the band sticks, but I'll let her surprise you with that definitely give her a call. Now, as far as the big ticket items, like the kitchens and the bathrooms and the major improvements that cost a lot of money, you don't need to do them. They're not going to give you all your money back. The truth is they're great and they'll definitely help your house sell a little bit faster, but they're probably not gonna get you all your money back. So don't do them. You don't need to, period. Do not stress about the big ticket items. The truth is people want to feel good about your home. They wanna feel the love. They want to know that it's been well-maintained and cared for. They want to fall in love with your home and they want to buy it. So just fix the little things and add some curb appeal. A freshly cut, well-manicured lawn with some freshly planted colorful flowers that you can easily pick up at Home Depot can go a long way in making your buyer feel incredible about your house. Now we've got a free FISBO guide in the link below. I'm gonna show you step-by-step, room-by-room, exactly what to do to get your home in sale-ready condition. Click the link to register, and we will send you one right away. All right, the next bite is step number two. You've got to price the home the right way, and this is more of an art than a science. When we price our listings, we base it on our experience in the current real-time market, not off some BS computer algorithm that is always wrong. Now, speaking of timing, your price depends on your timeline. Specifically, when do you and all of your stuff need to be in your next home? Is it next month? Is it yesterday? Or is it next year? If you've got time, play the market. Go big. Go big or go home. Your next home. The truth is you never know, especially in this market. Now keep in mind, people are always looking to get a deal and they're definitely gonna try to beat you down on price. So keep in mind, if you need to move immediately, you're going to have to price it more aggressively. But if it's in a year, go big. As full-time real estate professionals, we can absolutely help you with a comparative market analysis, otherwise known as a CMA. And we would be happy to do one for free. Just shoot me a text, an email, or a call, and I'll take care of it right away. Now, I don't wanna break my arm trying to pat myself on the back here about how great we are, but if you'd like to do some research and check me out, Google Chris Igo or go to my YouTube channel, which is called Living in South Florida. You can easily search for me really anywhere, any social platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Zillow, anywhere. You can find a lot about me online. So just Google Chris Igo and check out YouTube and you'll find me all over the place. All right, enough sales pitch. Number three, you've got to complete the seller's disclosure. 
Now this is a huge deal. This is the number one document that if you don't do correctly, can completely wipe out all your profits. You must disclose everything about your home. You have got to disclose everything about your property. Warts and all, you've got to be careful and you have to disclose everything. Omission is a lie. Simply can't do it. Full disclosure is required by law. And we would be happy to give you a seller's disclosure form for free. Just give me a call, shoot me a text or email me, or you can opt into our free FISBO guide, which will be in the links below and we'll send one right away. Now, full disclosure, I'm not an attorney. I don't give legal advice. The forms are standard boilerplate documents written by the Florida Bar of Attorneys, and we're happy to send them to you for free. All right, so your house is prep, house is priced right, the seller's disclosure is complete, you're ready to rock and roll. But now you gotta do everything else, right? The videos, the pictures, the signs, the brochures. No, slow it down, not so fast. Step number four is very low tech. Break out your cell phone and check in with all of your contacts. And no, I'm not kidding. According to NAR, which is the National Association of Realtors, which keeps stats on home buyers and sellers, it researched that 8% of all homes were sold without an agent. And of that 8%, more than a third were sold to someone that they knew, which is why it's critical that you break out your database and call or email all your friends, your neighbors, people you used to work with or currently work with, everybody, literally everybody that you know, you gotta call them up, tell them that your home is for sale, that it's priced to sell, and that you're looking to make them a deal. You're gonna be shocked at how many people are interested in your home. And if you're lucky enough to be part of that 36% of people that sold their home to people that they already know, go ahead and skip to number nine. And if you're not, it's not the end of the world. We just gotta roll up our sleeves. Who am I kidding? I'm wearing short sleeves. This is Florida. We don't typically wear long sleeves, but if I was, I'd be rolling them up right now because we got some work to do. Which brings us to step number five. You must take quality photos and your cell phone is a terrible choice. Now I've seen agents do it. It's totally unprofessional. It always results in poor quality photos. They're never going to capture a buyer's attention. And since 99.9999999% of people start their search online, and of course by 99.9999999% I mean 100, everyone starts their home search online. It is imperative that you have photos that pop and stand out. Overexposed pictures with white light or distorted camera angles which make the rooms look ridiculous are a terrible idea. They will be incredibly detrimental and hurt you. You don't wanna shoot yourself in the foot. Please don't do it. We work with some of the best photographers in the industry, so I'm going to put some links down below to Randy Tanner at Living Proof Photography. They are incredible, they will blow your mind. So give them a call, tell them that I sent you. But please, whatever you do, don't use your cell phone for photos. Now I handle all the marketing for all of our listings, so if you've got any questions, give me a call. My contact information is linked below, and I'll be happy to help you out with anything that you need to get you up and running and your home sold. High quality photos are extremely important. Now pro tip, and this is coming from a quasi video guru, I love video. Videos that showcase what it's like to live where you live. These videos are highly effective in getting exactly the right buyer that you want. Please check out my YouTube channel, which is called Living in South Florida. See exactly what I'm talking about. The truth is we've got so many clients shopping for homes just like yours. We're almost certainly to have your buyer right now. And if you'd like to learn more about that, please give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. We'd be happy to help. Don't waste your time or your money on video, especially those automated slideshows that are total garbage. Nobody watches them. But if you're able to tell a story, then shoot a video. Recently featured a home in Canyon Trails, but rather than highlight the home specifically, I showcased what it's like to live in Canyon Trails and the West Boynton area. I do these videos all over South Florida. I walk through the neighborhood, I showcase the amenities, neighbors, the local parks, stores, beach, schools, restaurants, and shops, and showcase exactly what it's like to live there. And because of that, I now have 10 families who found me on YouTube looking to purchase homes in Canyon Trails. These videos are next level and highly effective. We want to evoke emotion. We wanna make people feel it. So we do lots of video. Now again, this is what we do, it works incredibly well. As a matter of fact, every video that we do brings us buyers looking to buy 
right now. So we've always got a pipeline of buyers for every home. Now, I'm sure you really don't care about that. You just wanna sell your home, and I totally respect that. Unless you can showcase your home and exactly what it's like to live there with a the story, making the buyer experience it, feel it, save your time, save your money, don't do a video. Bite, or should I say step number six, is pay for the MLS. The MLS is your secret weapon. You've got to get the property into the multiple listing service. Now you can do this very cheaply for $99. However, I'm gonna recommend that you spend a little bit more. I think it's right around 500 to get the syndicated package. What does that mean? It's gonna go everywhere. Realtor, Trulia, Zillow, every other portal that exists. It will advertise your property on all of the sites. It's critical, you've got to get your property into the MLS. It's going to give you the most bang for your buck. It's gonna give you lots of exposure and it's gonna get it out there quickly. It's going to give you a competitive advantage. I'll put some links to resources down below to get you started. Step number seven is signs and flyers. The marketing is all on you and you're going to need to do more than just a for sale sign in your front yard and most subdivisions don't allow them anyway. So you're going to wanna to make high quality flyers or brochures that list all the great things about your home. The upgrades, the improvements, the reasons you fell in love with the home in the first place. You're gonna to wanna to check out buildasign.com, which will allow you to go out there and make a sign, and I'll link that down below. They've got pre-formatted templates, so you can go out there and design your own or use their pre-formatted templates, but it's super simple. I'm also going to encourage you to check out Canva, which will help you make professional quality marketing materials, and I'll link that down below too. Both are great places to start. Step number eight is open houses. According to NAR, and again, that's the National Association of Realtors, only 2% of people found their homes through an open house. Most people, including realtors, who do open houses have no clue how to do them the right way. If they did, that stat would be significantly higher. We love open houses and we regularly find buyers at them. If you're considering going this route, I'd like to extend an invitation to do it for you for free. Full disclosure, they are a lot of work. Doing a mega open house the right way takes a significant amount of time and resources. You've gotta run ads, invite the right people, qualify buyers as well as agents. You've gotta buy and post signs everywhere. You've really gotta bust your butt to do it the right way. Now we specialize in doing them and we would be happy to remove the cost and the stress of doing one by doing it for you for free. Now you're probably asking yourself, why would he do that? It's a good question. The truth is we are going to attract a lot of buyers, way more than you'd ever imagine. And not all of them are going to want to buy your house. The ones that do want to buy your house, they're yours. Ones that don't, we will work with and help them buy a home. So you win by getting the buyer, no strings attached, and we win by building a pipeline of buyers. Win-win. And if you'd like to set that up, please call, text, or email, and we will get it scheduled and taken care of right away. Set it and forget it. To be clear, I'm not trying to talk you out of it. If you want to do one, go for it. But pro tip, if you're going to do this, make sure that you don't do it alone. Have a friend or a family member, somebody upstairs, somebody downstairs. You've gotta have somebody who's got visibility on buyers in each room at all times for your protection and for your safety. Now here's another pro tip. You're gonna to need to hide all of your valuables, your prescription medicine, your jewelry. And obviously you're not gonna to wanna to leave any cash laying around. Anything of value needs to be locked up and I know it sounds crazy and I wish I didn't have to say that, but the truth is you don't know the people who are coming into your home and if unattended, it's possible they can go through your drawers, your medicine cabinets, wherever, and steal something. I know it's insane, but unfortunately it happens. Now here's another pro tip. You've got to make a sign-in sheet. You've got to ask people to sign in. You've got to get their names, their emails, and their phone numbers. And while you're signing them in, you must ask them a few simple questions, such as, what's their time frame for buying? Do they have a house to sell? Have they been pre-qualified? You'd be amazed at how much information serious buyers are willing to share with you. But please, don't be afraid to ask, create some rapport, and although it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, do it anyway. I'm going to put a link down below to a document that you can print and use for a sign-in sheet. It's very simple and straightforward. It will be very effective. All right, it's game time. You've received an offer. Congratulations, your house is almost sold. Now, before we continue, it's really important that you recognize just a few things here. 
The most important reality check here is even though you're selling your house for sale by owner, it does not mean that you're not going to have any expenses, fees, or commissions. The inconvenient truth is they exist. The reality is most buyers are going to be represented by an agent, so at minimum, you're going to have to pay the buyer side commission, which is typically anywhere from two and a half to 3%. And most of the times it's 3%. And please know you're paying for it, it's coming out of your pocket. Now additionally, you're gonna have transfer tax fees, title fees, and insurance fees, all on top of that. Now Florida is not an attorney state, so an attorney's not required but we do work with some of the best title companies and real estate attorneys that are out there. So if you ever want help with any of that, just reach out to me and I will hook you up. Now with all of those fees combined, you're going to be at right around 4% in fees, which still means you're getting some incredible savings of about two points on this, which could easily add up to 6,000, 7,000, 10,000 or more that you're saving by selling yourself. But bear in mind, that's only if it goes smooth and according to plan. If it doesn't, it's gonna cost a little bit more. All right, we've almost eaten the elephant. We're at step number nine, or bite number nine, depending on how we're looking at this here. The final step for FISBO success is technology called call capture. Here's what it is and how it works. And more importantly, you should be incredibly pumped up because I'm about to give you free of charge your very own smart number. The last thing that you wanna do is put your contact information everywhere, on every sign for everyone to see. So we're going to give you a smart number so that you don't have your number everywhere, you can use ours. The flyers, the yard signs, social media, any place that you're going to advertise your property, you're going to want to use this smart number. This way you don't have crazies calling you at all hours of the day or night, waking you up and driving you nuts. And trust me, in this market, they are going to drive you nuts. So here's how the smart number works. When a buyer calls, you're going to hear a message, which is basically an audio tour that I'm going to create for you professionally for free. At the end of that call, they're gonna hear the price. They're gonna have the ability to push a button and talk to you directly. Additionally, they can schedule a showing or even make an instant offer right through the phone. And the great part is you don't need anything other than a cell phone to get started because I'm going to do everything else for free. And here's the best part. When the buyer hangs up, our technology captures their information, instantly sends it to you. So we've got their name, their phone number, their email address, and it's instantly sent to you. And at that point, you can follow up with them, which is fantastic because you can follow up with them directly when their interest is the highest. Or you can follow up with them whenever you like, but I'd suggest that you do it instantly. Either way, the information comes to you and all you need is your cell phone. We take care of everything else. Now you're probably asking yourself, why is Chris doing this? Why is he giving away all the secrets for FISBO success? Isn't he a real estate agent? Isn't this how he makes his living? And the answer to all those questions is obviously yes. But I also know that by working together, we've got an opportunity to demonstrate to you the value that we bring in helping you sell your home. So if you ever do decide to hire an agent, we're gonna be the first ones that you consider. And that's it, it's that simple. I hope you've enjoyed the nine steps to FISBO success. Leave a comment down below and let me know how it worked for you. Let's get a conversation going down below in the comments and let me know how effective it was. Let me know that you've got multiple competing offers and it was a tremendous success or whatever your experience was. Please subscribe to the channel and never hesitate to reach out for anything because we've always got your back when it comes to living in or moving to South Florida. And until next time,